Hi everyone, happy Wednesday to you. Hopefully you guys are having a good week full of crafting and fun. And I have a new sale going up this week. And this one's gonna be on the My Favorite Things stamps and dies that I have available in my store. Um, I did post the coupon code to my Facebook group, which if you're finding me on YouTube, if you wanna join the Facebook group, feel free to click the link below and as well as visit my store. I'm gonna link that down below as well. And uh, I'm also putting the code right on all these listings right on eBay. Um, so uh, go ahead, if anything interests you, go ahead and check out and put the code in at checkout time. Just a note, um, just so you guys know, you can't make a best offer and then use the coupon code. eBay does not allow that. It's a eBay policy thing, not really a my policy thing, but an eBay one. Um, so if you make an offer, just make sure that the offer will give you a better discount than the 15% off. Um, I hope that makes sense. Okay, anyways, we are going to go ahead and get started here. Um, this one I actually have in my personal stash, and this one is in my store. And this one is, of course, my favorite things, Magical Unicorns. This one's got a lot of whimsy, a lot of fun. It's got a little castle, rainbows. You can even put little wings on the unicorns, especially this one. He already looks like he's flying. And a lot of these come with um, the stamps and dies, just so you guys know. Uh, and most of these, not all of them, but most of them are this taller one. These are four by eight inches. And my favorite things, again, is a very good uh, photopolymer. Um, so yeah, very good quality images that you can get with these stamps. Okay, the next one is called You Make Me Wag My Tail. And I think I have a few dog sets in the store. And this one's kind of cute. Again, kind of whimsical and fun. And this one I have in a lot. Let's see, here's the dies. And this one I have in a lot with an extra set of dies. This would, these dies are super cute. Um, a good way to use these would be uh, in scrapbooking or simply, or not simply, but unfortunately when a pet passes and you need a good sympathy card, these would be really pretty too with the paw prints. I've made a few of those in my day, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, moving on, this one is a girl on a scooter, and this one's called You Make My Heart Race. And she's got a little kitty and a doggy. Uh, these next two, these are called Pure Innocence, and there's a lot of people out there that collect these, and there are these super cute images of little girls. Let's see, is this one? Yeah, that one's Pure Innocence. Oh no, this one, I am so sorry, I have to apologize. This one is pure innocence because it has a PI on it. So yeah, these are super cute images of these little girls. Um, a lot of the ones I have in stock that are left have matching dies. Um, so feel free to check those out. And those are the collectible ones. This one is actually by Birdie Brown. She's one of their designers. And her designs have been super popular as well. So this one, I don't... this. Whoever owned this before said Pure Innocence, but it's actually Birdie Brown because it has a BB in its name. So yeah, there we go. And that one also has the matching die. And speaking of dies, I cut these out before the video because I wanted to have these to show you guys. Uh, let me see here. These are a couple of Christmas dies. They are almost an A2 size. And I wanted to cut these out to show you guys what they look like. So I cut them out. Here's the die, one of the dies itself. And then I put them on top of an A2 frame and they lay very nicely. I like how it gives you this outer edge to border it because it looks like another layer. So yeah, so there's that one. And then I also cut out the joy, the joy, and there we go. So those make a very elegant border, super easy to do on Christmas cards, which I've already started mine for next year. It's sad, but it takes me like a whole year to get them all done. Okay, 
This one, let's see, they make a lot of cute critters and animals. This one's called Sushi Date, for any of you sushi fans out there. And this one comes with matching dyes. And this one is Splendid Swans. A little pond and some cattails. Also has the dyes. Let's see, this one. This one has multiple dyes. So I'm going to pull this one out. Here's another doggy set. Again, those would be beautiful on a sympathy card. And then here's the dies. And here's the cute little set. This one's called Four-Legged Friends. And I love their cute little punny sayings, too. Those are adorable. And another doggy one. This one's called You Make My Tag Whale. Or... Yeah, I can't talk tonight. You make my tail wag. And those have dyes. Okay, this one's called Jungle Gym. Cute little monkey and tiger playing together. I like the little birdies too, those are cute. Has the dyes with that one. Here's another birdie brown set. And these ones are good. This is called Bitty Bears. These ones would be really good in planners. You see those sometimes with the little images. Those are cute. Pardon my fingers too. I was busy painting and playing in my journal last night. So my thumb has like paint on it. Okay, Hog Heaven. This one I have in my personal stash. This one's super cute and fun. And I gave away the birthday cards I made. Otherwise I'd show you guys what I made with those. Those have the dies. You are the best. Silly little sheep. Lots of puns in that one. You are loved. Thinking of y you. You? You, I think. And dies in that one too. And just so you guys know, the dies don't cut out the sayings. They seem to just cut out the images in these sets. Here's for any coffee lovers out there. This one's called Coffee Date. Matching dies with those. This one does not have matching dies. This one's called Fall Friends. And I love the little squirrels. Totally adorable. This one has dyes. This one's called All My Love. And just in time for Valentine's Day. I think these would be really pretty uh, embossed with embossing powder. Or like do a boss resist where you emboss it, pour white embossing powder and put it on white cardstock. And then you add like watercolor over it. And then the design will pop up in white. That would be stunning with that set. Best in the West. Here's a little cowboy, a little bear, a little horse, little roosters. So cute. That one has dyes. Playful peacock. Very pretty. These would be nice and colorful with Copic markers. That one has dyes. Sloss. I had to show you guys the sloss. Sweet sloss. I love sloss. I just think they're adorable and very, very cute. And those have dyes. And then the last one is called You've Got Mail. And these, when I bought them, they actually came with um, little cut out little inserts. So yeah, so you can see what these look like. So I believe, let me see, is that? So I think what she did, I think, I believe the envelope makes this makes the envelope is what it makes. And then I think what she probably did is she probably just cut a rectangle to slide in here. And then, or what you could do is you could cut this out and then you could just chop off the edges a little bit on the inner part. And that would give you this little insert too. Yeah, and so this, um, let me see if I have a ruler. For any of you that wanna know the dimensions, the envelope is almost three so well let's say two and three fourths by two so yeah I think that's all I have for you today kind of a shorter video um I have been busy putting up just more planner sets planner sets are selling like hotcakes um <laughs> I had no idea that there were so many planning crafters out there and I've also been putting up more penny black wood animal stamps so I thought this week I would show you guys some of my sale items instead um so yeah feel free if any of those interest you there's also a ton more in my store lots of cute little characters great quality stamps and dies 
and 15% um, off this week through next Tuesday. And I will talk to you guys next week. Thanks. Have a good one.